Now, the next aspect we're going to look at is the analysis of the impact of these trends. Now, to start you off, I've given you two video clips to look at that present possible futures. Now, these have particular commercial perspectives, but they also include some uh, conceptualization of what the future may be like, and particularly around education and digital technologies and digital culture as they're expressed in these video clips. So unpack them, consider what the future may be like if these representations of the future do emerge, and what will be the impact upon education if this occurs. Now, good trend analysis relies upon data, and we extrapolate from the data collected from the past, showing particular trends, whether things are increasing or decreasing or staying the same or oscillating. And then we extend that trend line into the future, enabling us to make predictions about what might occur if a similar trend continues. Now, I've given you four sets of data that look at various aspects related to digital culture and education. And from these, I want you to then project into the future, if these trends continue as they have in the past, what might be the implications for education as a result of these trends continuing? So look at each of the trends in some detail and then think about what the consequences of these trends will be if they continue. And the final aspect is to look at um, some of the some of the variety of trends that um, occur around digital technologies and education. And I've given you a copy of the Trends and Technology Timeline, which is presented as a, a rail map just a graphical way of trying to organize and present the interrelationship between data. But it highlights the various things within um, digital technologies and society that we need to be keeping mindful of as we consider their impact upon education. So explore that, explore the trends, and also explore Google Trends, which is an online tool that you can use to see Trends in what people are searching for, which tends to give an indication of their popular influence on digital culture. So if people are searching a lot for ChatGTP, for example, and you expand that out, you'll see that all of the interest in ChatGTP tended to occur at the um, beginning or at the end of 2021. So you can see when various technologies have had an impact upon digital culture and how some have increased and decreased over time. So it's a nice simple way of starting to explore and analyze digital trends.